minus delta S naught reactants. So this is the entropy change of a system. So let's take the Haber process example again. Plus 3H2 gas. gives me 2NH3 gas. So again, uh, I've made a slight mistake. It will not be delta, it will be uh, just S0 products minus, so it will be sum of the uh, entropies of the products and minus the sum of the entropies of the reactants. So this is what it is. Now, if I have to write delta S0 system for this, It will be equal to the sum of the entropies of the product so it will be 2 into the entropy of NH3 S not NH3 because the storage we have to multiply with the coefficients as well since there are two moles of ammonia we will multiply the uh, entropy of uh, ammonia by 2 minus 3 into the entropy of hydrogen because the stoichiometric coefficient of H2 is 3. So 3 into the entropy of hydrogen plus the entropy of nitrogen. The entropy of nitrogen because the, the stoichiometric coefficient is 1 so we will not multiply the entropy of, ni of nitrogen with anything but it will be multiplied by 1 which is the same as the entropy of nitrogen. So into. So this will give me the entropy change of system for this reaction. And uh, the in entropy change of the standard entropy change of surrounding which is donated by delta denoted by delta S not surroundings sur S U R R delta S not surroundings which is this is equal to minus delta H where delta H is the enthalpy change of the reaction over T where T is the thermodynamic temperature by thermodynamic temperature I mean that it is the temperature in Kelvin so always remember that this T is not in degree Celsius or in Fahrenheit it is in Kelvin so delta S not surrounding is equal to minus delta H over T so we have the delta S not system of uh, the, we, we know the formulas for the delta S not system and for the entropy change of surrounding so the so we have something called the total entropy change which is delta S naught system plus delta S naught surroundings. So this is the total entropy change. So so if the total entropy change is positive then the reaction is feasible but if the total entropy change is negative then the reaction is not feasible so this is what you need to remember so Gibbs free energy so Gibbs free energy so before we actually go on to see what it is the, we need to write that the change in Gibbs free energy delta G naught is equal to minus T delta S naught total where delta S naught total is the total entropy change. So what happens is that uh, Gibbs free energy is used because scientists or chemists they are not really uh, they, they are not really concerned about the entropy change of surroundings. They are studying reactions, chemical reactions. So what they are concerned about is the entropy change of the system. So uh, since delta S naught total uh, also involves entropy change of surroundings then calculating uh, me uh, measuring the feasibility or, um, uh, or determining whether a reaction is feasible is becomes very difficult because then they have to take into account both the system and the surroundings because we, uh, we, we, we measure feasibility based on delta S naught total. However, uh, we, we, there is a method 
in which we only need delta S naught system, which is what